Hello, YouTube friends. Ben Ochart here. Thank you so much for tuning in. And today I want to talk with you about something that I did in preparation for some cold weather that's coming up. We're getting some unusually cold weather here in Nashville. It's supposed to get down to around 10 degrees. So I wanted to make sure that, uh, that my heaters were doing what they're supposed to be doing since my fish room is in the garage. It's insulated, stays pretty warm. I have a heater running in here, but still... With that kind of a drop in temperature, I want to make sure things are functioning the way they're supposed to. So what I ended up doing is, and I'll show you here in a video. This is the 55-gallon uh, African cichlid tank that you see behind me, full of African cichlids. And uh, I have a, 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 a pretty rock-solid heater in this, uh, in this tank made by cobalt one of those uh, one of those cobalt I believe they're called neotherm and uh, very highly rated very accurate and this this heater is telling me that I am uh, sitting at about 82 degrees uh, if it was uh, less than that there'd be a light flashing below the set temperature normally I would have it set at 78 but when I had it set at 78 I discovered that my tank, was actually running at around 75, 74. I, I discovered this when I was calibrating some controllers that I talk about in an earlier video. So if you look here, I'm gonna go ahead and use a, a, a very simple tool, a, um, a digital thermometer made by Taylor. And uh, these things are very, very accurate, down to minus 40 and up to over a couple hundred degrees. I mean, they're very, very, fast and very very accurate i put it in the tank and uh, wait for the fish to stop nibbling on it like they do to everything that goes in the tank and i let it i let it actually set at the true temperature and it turns out that my calibrated controllers are accurate the tank is actually 78.5 but if i didn't have a controller i would think that my tank was running at 82. If I do a similar uh, test over in the in the South American tank, my uh, cobalt in the South American is telling me that I am that I'm steady at 80 degrees. I do the same test with a digital thermometer. In this case, a little closer to the heater, not quite in the middle of the tank. And uh, let's wait for the fish to take a few nibbles, like they do of everything that goes in their tank. And uh, as you can see, even though the, the heater is telling me I'm at 80, my true temperature, my true tank temperature is 77 point, it looks like 77.6. Let's go ahead and hold that and I'll just show it to you on the camera. 77.6. I trust these uh, tailors. They're very well made, very accurate. And they're used in labs and things like that. So they're, you can pretty much count on them. And also the calibrated true temp controllers are actually verifying that my tank is running at a very different temperature from what I would assume it's at if I was trusting entirely the uh, what what the heater was telling me. I don't think it's a problem with just cobalt heaters. It's the same thing was going on with the uh, Aquatop heater that's in one of my uh, QT tanks. The heater was setting supposedly at 78, but the tank was at 75. Now, the reason I think this is important, let's say you wanted to increase temperature into the uh, low to mid 80s because you're battling ick and you trust your, uh, your heater for that, you're actually gonna go up into the high 70s and that might not be hot enough to kill off ick and to, and to stop the ick cycle. So I do recommend that uh, you pick up one of these I have I have the controllers and uh, and also these these uh, Taylor these Taylor uh, digital thermometers at my Amazon store and uh, you can see the link in the description under the video and uh, you can pick them up on Amazon anything you pick up at Amazon uh, after using my link to get there actually gives a little credit to the channel so it's a great way to support the channel as well. So at any rate, something to think about if you're getting into a cold snap. I know some of you are telling me you're getting into 
One of you reported minus 27, minus 40. So uh, something to think about your heaters, even though they're reporting a set temp, may actually not be operating. Cross check, use something reliable like a digital thermometer. Okay. If you like the content of the channel, be sure to hit that uh, thumbs up and uh, subscribe, hit that bell, tell YouTube you like the content and you want other, and that'll help YouTube to get it in front of other fish keepers. All right. Hope to see you on Saturday for the Cichlids and Coffee live stream. We can talk about this and other subjects, whatever's on your mind, because it's a live, uh, a live format that allows us to interact through the chat function. Okay. Great group of fish keepers that show up there. And also, if you're inclined, uh, stop by on Facebook at Ben O apostrophe cichlid. And also, um, let me see if I can go ahead and here we go. Not that one, but there we go. Ben O apostrophe cichlid on Facebook. Great group of fish keepers. Please answer all the questions, including the one regarding the, the group rules. Uh, and guidelines or else you will not get let into the group that's how we keep it troll free and friendly and also catch me behind the scenes at ben.o.cichlid on instagram all right that's it for me thank you my friend hope to see you on saturday at cichlids and coffee Bye bye You're still here. Come on, go, go get some stuff done. <laughs> All right. Bye-bye.